What is going on everybody? Back here with another video. Today, the subject of the video is not the Mac Pro, but it is the Retina Mac Pro that I bought a few months ago. So, uh, it's actually holding up pretty good. It's been through half the semester already. Doing great. No complaints. But today, it needs an upgrade. So, we're going to be trying to get Mac OS Mojave installed on this kind of day. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a bootable USB bootloader on my Mac Pro. And... All right, so here I am back on my main setup at the Pro, as you can see, and I'm gonna try to use Dismaker X. I'm gonna drag that in there, and uh, where'd it go? I'm gonna try to make a bootable Mac OS Mojave USB drive. So I'm going to, yes, I'm gonna use this copy. What kind of disk, an eight gigabyte, Thumb drive. Gonna use my USB. Choose this disk. Erase, then create disk. Continue. Asks any minute now. Is it gonna ask? All right. And whenever that finishes, I'll get back to you. As you can see, see. It is going pretty good. It's going pretty quick. Some five minutes before. And while that's going, I kinda of wanna to explain to you why I haven't gone to <coughs> I haven't gone to Mac OS Mojave on the Mac Pro. Um that's my main machine. That machine has to be stable at all times. Point blank period. Um I have a lot and a lot of old files that need to be transferred off the machine. I have a lot of um very sensitive information on the machine. And if anything happens to that information, I am, like, screwed. Um, I need it to be very, very reliable. I need it to be very, very, I guess, very, very secure. I need everything to work properly. So I'm going to vet it on the MacBook Pro. And as soon as everything's good with new uh, firmware and all that, uh, I'm going to test it on a different drive, pull my old drives out. It requires a long time. I don't have the time today to do it, but maybe a weekend or something like that and I'm off, I'll do it. It just requires a lot of time, a lot of testing, a lot of transferring the files. That's the biggest thing that I'm trying to say. Alrighty, guys, so it just finished up. It's over here freaking out. <clears throat> it's, yep, there we go. Yeah, whatever that was, it's done. Uh, Mac OS switch drive ready, reboot your Mac, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll make a donation later, but... It's ready, so I'm going to go ahead and eject down here and plop it into the MacBook Pro, which should be done backing up by now. All right, guys, I'm back to the Mac Pro, and it turns out it did not update at all. Or, what do you mean, uh, freaking backup? So I have to do it manually. I thought it would just go, but apparently not. And replace that and it's gonna back up and this is probably gonna take about 30 minutes so give or take 30 minutes who knows 305 I don't know so 60 gigs I don't know it's a USB 3 SSD hopefully it doesn't take too long but it's whatever if it does I'm gonna see how long it takes and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you when we're able to go ahead and start the install well guys I decided to say screw it I'm gonna cancel the backup I really don't need anything. I just canceled the backup and just transferred manually the stuff that I really needed. I have all these apps saved on my main drive on my Mac Pro. Um, so if I really need them, I'll just go ahead and get them back. But I'm going to go ahead and insert the drive here into my USB 3. And let's see what it does. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and select it as my boot drive. Startup disk. Going to authenticate my stuff and select Mojave and restart. And we should be in. Hopefully. Cheers. All right. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Hello. 
All right, so it looks like we have finally reached the screen that we need to be at. Something happened in disk utility, and be careful not to erase my uh, bootcamp partition. So I'm going to go to Macintosh SSD. Uh, cancel that. I'm going to erase it. Oh yeah, didn't. Good. Awesome. Sick. So, I'm going to install macOS. Alright, continue. Agree. Macintosh SSD. And we should be good to go. Sick. Five minutes remaining. Should be quick. Should be fairly quick. I have a USB 3 thumb drive on a USB 3 MacBook Pro with a fairly quick SSD. It's not the PCIe base flash, whatever, but it still should be pretty good. So I'm going to let it install and I'll get back to you when it's done. Alrighty, guys, about 20 minutes later, we are done. We are booted up into macOS Mojave. Um, just going to connect to my network here. Alright, not going to transfer any information. Going to skip all this stuff for right now. Just want to get into the desktop. Okay, I agree with all the terms and conditions. Let me set up my account real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, continue. Uh, let's do dark. Yeah, dark mode. Woo! We want to try this out for so long. Alright, let's see how it looks. Ooh, wow, okay. Right off the rip, it looks nice. Yeah, and I click not used right now. This is real nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, first things first, I'm gonna turn on uh, tap to click. Yep, that's the first thing. Second thing, let me see here. Okay, so we got cool dynamic desktop backgrounds. Looks real nice. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks real nice. Uh, let me check out some of these backgrounds here. We've got the dark mode. We have... Ooh, looks real nice. Desert. This stuff definitely does look nice. But I'll stick with that for right now. Um, let me see here. Light mode, dark mode, uh, probably just going to stick with night mode, it does look cool, uh, but yeah, we are officially on macOS Mojave, let's go ahead and check out what it says here, 10.14, Retina 2012, 2.6i7, 8 gigs of RAM, everything's still there, looking good, looking good, uh, it's real nice. Now, I do want to see if this is scaled already. Let's see here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. That is real nice right there. That is like the perfect scaling. Ooh. Right there, that's the one I use on a daily basis, I guess. I'm going to turn on night shift. And it's going to be from 10 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yep. I do use the computer at night. I'm getting ready to go to bed. But anyway, there's Mojave on the MacBook Pro. Quick little video. Just wanted to show you guys uh update to Mojave. I'm going to get everything set up here eventually. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you.